Hey, what's up, Libra? Welcome to the channel. It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. So welcome here, guys. So I'm getting ready to do December monthly reads, and this is going to be a general read. So I do hope you enjoy it, and I hope it resonates. It's really important to me. So be doing a intuitive read, an intuitive read, with a good tarot. So let me, I'm, I'm not sure how many cards I'm going to pull. It just depends on what unfolds. So definitely let me know what you think of the reading in... The comments or just say hello I'd love to hear from everybody and please remember to like share and subscribe because that helps me on the channel so so much so thank you guys so let me do a deck cut here I've lost count of how many times I've said so in 45 seconds so <laughs> I did it again <laughs> all right I'll do a deck cut so we've got the three of air and this card has been popping up in many of the signs so I really feel like this has something to do with like the winter coming in and um, like where I live guys it gets to be like minus 45 minus 50 some days and it can be really depressing to be stuck inside but I know that so many of my viewers um, are around the world so th there's something called seasonal uh, something or other disorder so you just have to be sort of mindful about stuff like that and it could be a little bit to do with the holidays and maybe not being close to people um, like geographically to people that you love and want to spend time with but you have the eight of earth here so you really have an opportunity I think to get to know yourself a little bit better and work on your goals and I got the word limelight here for some reason some of you could be like I'm getting words like limelight and superstardom that's really crazy. I feel like you guys are, you're going through this for a reason to let your light shine. So you've got the king of earth here. You guys are definitely on a, on a path to earning more money. And I think for some of you, it's, it's got something to do with, maybe it's writing a book, selling a book. Some of you, like I seriously see names and lights here but it's taking a separation from people that you love and you want to be with with the three of air and some of you could just be closed off from people right now it doesn't you don't necessarily have to be separated by um like physically you could just be feeling separated from people in general just to do what you need to do here but you've got the two of water so your connections are still really strong. Like even if you're not hearing from people or you're not reaching out to people, you know, your people are still around you. You know, so you just kind of have to remember that. I think you're being a little bit harder on yourself than you need to be. But this is also a necessary part of your development here because eight of earth and king of earth, this is your time to evolve. You know, the eight of earth really talks about um, going to a higher level and the king of earth is all about like bringing in the money like really serious money here and I'm seeing like a level of fame and wealth like unbelievable yeah so we have the fool card which is like this is your journey this is your path so you might need that isolation even though it could be painful um, and people might not necessarily understand you right now they're not really getting your geni genius um, or they're just not privy to the vision that you have for yourself. I think, is somebody working on inventing something out there? If you're watching, like, are you, are you creating something that you think is going to benefit people? Please let me know in the comments because I'm seeing, I'm seeing a level really of brilliance here in these cards that not everybody's going to get. So you're going to have to kind of put this journey over top of that for a little while and just know that when you see the three of air it does depict being in a little bit of and I was going to say pain but I got the word agony your brilliance can come from that because it's just giving you room to focus on everything here and don't worry because everything like with the three of air it it's, can be healed so like whatever is happening there on on your personal like 
with your personal relationships. It's not going anywhere. It's just, there's a distance right now. But it's going to come back around. So don't worry about that because you have the two of water, which is close relationships and everything's going to be fine. So like I was saying, you kind of need this um, distance and you need the time for yourself so your mind isn't cluttered. So you can bring about this really important change and it's some really like important change for you um, at a foundational level. It's going to take you places, that tower card. So we have the three of earth. This is the alchemy card, you guys. If you haven't read the book, The Alchemist, I really want to recommend that to you right now. And this is creating your own wealth out of like things that are existing in your toolkit already but I'm, I'm seeing if you spend a lot of time with other people right now it's not really going to inspire you it's going to scatter you so and you have so much earth in your reading right now pentacles coins right you've got like and it's not just money it's like this recognition that's going to go with it too with the fool card like you've got this new journey to go on it's your calling, you know, and it's all tied in together with how you're feeling and how are you going to use that to your advantage? Like, how are you going to take that pain and put it towards what you need to achieve? You know, this is your, your path. It's your calling here. It absolutely is your calling. Um, and the high priestess, she just wants you to focus on yourself right now the high priestess like I feel like she's a really solitary energy here right now so and sometimes you just need that separation to focus on you and that's definitely what's going on here and you've got a lot of major arcana here you guys and then you've got the eight of fire things are really going to happen at a high rate of speed here for you you could be actually traveling somewhere um, and this is, could be where the pain is coming in. This could be coming up for you. And you've got two eights here. So angel numbers eight, eight, you guys. But big energy. And I'm seeing big money. And for some of you, big fame. And again, like everything is so big right now. Big contribution. Big bank account. This is unbelievable, you guys. Um, I, you know, I pulled a lot of cards here, but I feel like I need to pull one more. And then you've got the hermit card. So you guys, sometimes you just need to spend time by yourself. Like really. And that's what I've been seeing here the whole time. You know, and it's okay because this is where your brilliance is going to come from. This time by yourself. This time to um, like really let the, let the plant flower, you know. I feel like this is incomplete. Hold on. So you've got the king of air. So the king of air, he really wants to invite you to sort of keep things analytical right now. Sort of leave emotion out of it. Like you could be feeling um, like that separation here with the three of air. But this is something that I really don't think that your genius has time to process right now. So you can just sort of put that to the side right now. Sort of like you'll look at it after um, a certain amount of achievement. And you can still keep in contact with people. But this is going to be the thing that is going to help you provide for other people, including like your friends and your family. But I really think it's going to affect, um, and I'm getting the word humanity again, um, like whether it's through entertainment or guidance, or again, I'm seeing that invention, you could be able to help people out here. And I'm, I'm not seeing it at a low level. I'm seeing like Tesla, you know, really like breakthrough like you guys are you're really on a huge level to break through to the other side you're just gonna have to learn how to manage this pain of separation that you're going through and sort of enjoy it so you can focus on your calling guys so pretty intense reading um for you so i hope this was helpful and motivational guys so once again um let me know in the comments what you think and i'll see you back here another time